Why is a calorie not a calorie? All right, let's give you an example. Let's take an easy one. Let's take almonds. If you consume 160 calories in almonds, because of the fiber in the almonds, the food is not going to get absorbed immediately. So your blood sugar rise is going to be a lot lower. It's going to be for longer. So what's the opposite of the almond? Well, the opposite of the almond would be a soft drink. Because there's no fiber, they get absorbed straight through the portal system to the liver. The liver gets this big sugar rush. When your liver gets that onslaught, it has no choice but to turn it into fat immediately. So 160 calories in almonds or 160 calories in soda? You tell me which is better. Sugar is poison. It is a chronic, not acute, chronic, dose dependent, depends on how much you eat, because there is a safe threshold, hepato liver toxin. The metabolic diseases that are associated with obesity, the diabetes, the heart disease, the lipid problems, the strokes, the cancer, those diseases are being driven by sugar. Fructose, the sweet part of sugar, can only be processed in the liver. When your liver is pushed to the max, the pancreas comes to the rescue by producing excess amounts of a hormone called insulin. Insulin is the energy storage hormone. Insulin turns sugar into fat for storage. That's insulin's job. High levels of insulin can also block your brain from receiving the signal that you're full. Problem is, your brain thinks you're starving. So how do you feel when you starve? Crappy, tired, slothy, sit on the couch, don't want to do anything. And of course, hungry. Well, I've just described every obese patient. The behaviors that we associate with obesity, the eating too much, the exercising too little, the gluttony and the sloth, they are the result of the biochemistry, not the cause. The problem is, sugar isn't just in cookies and desserts. If you go to the supermarket, there are 600,000 food items in America. And 80% of them have added sugar. Sugar can hide behind many names on nutrition labels like sucrose, fructose, glucose, dextrose, lactose, maltose, invert sugar, and turbinado sugar. And the most well-known of all, high fructose corn syrup. You will absorb them exactly the same. And so all of the studies that have pitted high fructose corn syrup against sugar show no difference between the two. They're both equally bad. So too much sugar in any form is dangerous, even if the high fructose corn syrup is replaced with any of these other varieties. It's not just all of the excessive sugars, but the processed starches too. White bread, white rice, potato products, prepared breakfast cereals are digested into glucose literally in an instant in the digestive tract. You, know, you can eat a bowl of cornflakes with no added sugar or you could eat a bowl of sugar with no added cornflakes. They might taste different, but below the neck, they're metabolically the same thing. When you consume sugar naturally, that is in fruit, you're getting the fiber that you need to mitigate the negative effects. Am I worried about fruit? No. But am I worried about fruit juice? Oh, you bet. Because when you take the fiber out, you might as well be drinking a Coke. I drink diet soda all the time, and I want to know if diet soda is good for you or bad for you. A lot of people think that they can just switch from sugar to artificial sweeteners. Diet this, diet that, Splenda, aspartame. But if it triggers hormonal responses that cause you to produce more insulin, they make you crave more, they make you hungry, that you think sugar's on the way, your brain's like, oh, wait a minute, you know, I think sugar's coming, I tasted it. So low sugar, low fat, diet foods, they're dangerous and they're actually disease producing as well.
disease doesn't happen with one meal, but it happens with a thousand. But that's what we have because now sugar is with every meal. Good morning. I'm just getting ready to go to school this, this morning. And I just ate some cereal. So sweet on the tip of my tongue. You taste like sunlight and strawberry bubble gum. I have everything I need here to make my healthy lunch. Some peanut butter. So, 10 years of sugar in the morning, sugar in the evening, sugar at supper time, you've got this veritable tsunami of obesity and metabolic disease we see today.